What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Technically it's Tuesday morning but it's still Monday in my head because I haven't gone to sleep and woken up yet. Y'all know how it goes. It is 2.58 in the morning. Ooh. Let me take my black self to bed. I am leaving to go to Houston in two hours. Oh my gosh. Talitha, go to sleep. Yeah. You know the bougie woman that I am? I was like, I want to get braids, but my braider moved to Texas. But then I found a new braider. And it's crazy because we have a mutual friend and we ended up hanging out together last time I was in Houston. And now she gonna do my hair. And she's done celebrity hair. Like, not Talitha hanging out with a celebrity hairstylist. Celebrity hairstylist or not, if you know what you're doing, I support that. Since I am going to be in Houston, it's going to be a dual get my hair done content trip and see my little my little boo person date from the previous vlog if you watch that. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully. I'm only there for two days, but we're gonna make the most of it. Y'all know how I roll. I have everything packed. Um it's a lot for two days but this is like a content type of trip so i just went ham and bought like five different outfits the only thing i need to pack now is my like purse carry-on bag which will have my laptop my camera my phones and then just my headphones you know stuff like that it's three o'clock now i think i can be in my bed by 3 45 because i still have to take a shower 3 45 i am rooting I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I can do it. I have arrived at the Airbnb and y'all, she's fancy. For it to be as affordable or like price friendly, I guess, Y'all, this is a nice one. Let me give you the Airbnb tour. I buckle up because we're in for a ride. This is a huge Airbnb. This is the view from the front door. So boom, there's already a bedroom. And look, y'all is blackity black black in here. I love it. You're gonna see a common theme throughout the house. It's just black woman. And I freaking love it. A TV in every bedroom. There's full length mirrors in every bedroom. Y'all know I love that. I'm gonna go up the first flight of stairs. Oh, Jesus, definitely not missing leg day by being here. I love the decor and I wish my mom was here because she would eat it up. Do you see how massive this is? Like, this is crazy. And look, y'all, I think it's a sign from God. The blue velvet couch. If you are a true Talitha Jane subscriber, you would know that I want a blue velvet couch when I move. So this is definitely giving the aesthetic I'm going for. Velvet couch, super bougie chandelier, the backsplash, like look at the fireplace. Oh, it's so good, you guys, it's so good. There's a pool table. I love the idea of a pool table over a dining table because, let's be for real, how many times would you use a dining table over a pool table, especially in your 20s? You know, there's a huge island. I love a good island. That's a must have for when I move. Another super pretty chandelier. And this is my favorite part. Like, look how aesthetically pleasing that is. All the alcohol. Y'all, yeah, tell me you're an alcoholic without telling me you're an alcoholic. I promise I'm not though, I promise. But that's so pretty to look at. And then you come over here and there's a little outdoor area. I would go out, but I just took my shoes off. So it's raining today too. But look how cute that is. I definitely want to set up turf when I move and have like the hanging chairs, so I love it. And the bamboo, she did her thing with the aesthetic of this place. On to the second flight of stairs. There's some more mirrors. And then this is like an office space, I believe. Oh no, it's a bedroom, another bedroom, wow. Okay, shoot. Over here is the master bedroom. This is my favorite one. Look, another light, I love it. And then another mirror more mirrors it's just so cute in here and the best part of this entire airbnb is this bathroom like are you kidding be for real right now this is the type of bathroom you use for photography purposes like you can definitely tell it was renovated but i don't care 
because I'm, I'm obsessed. Once you exit the bathroom, you come out this way in our third flight of stairs of the day. Out here is another outdoor seating area. Yeah, it's raining, so we're not gonna go out there. But tomorrow, it'll be nice. So I will be out there for show. I'm a huge fan of this Airbnb. I love it. I'm about to change and just chill until my hair appointment. And oh my gosh, y'all, her braids are so good that it was worth catching a flight and paying $600 to get my hair done. So, yeah. Do y'all ever get like claustrophobic in clothes? Like I just need to like rip this off of me. So, I'm glad I bought my robe because God is good. <laughs> Probably gonna order food. I wanna take a nap, but I'm tired, and I know that if I take a nap, I might not wake up, and I can't miss this hair appointment. So, we're just gonna figure something out. I don't know, but we'll see. The next day. braids <laughs> look at the beach braids y'all these look so good let me put you down yeah yeah miss joy did her thing mm, mm, mm. only thing i wish is i would have gotten them longer but that's on me and not booking butt length but you know i'll be back i'll be back already knowing in the gym uh, a ponytail these are look so cute in a ponytail like uh, And she used human hair for the braids, so it's like having a weave, a wig, whatever. I like it. I'm gonna wear this style out. Like, <laughs> y'all know I change my hairstyle like every two weeks. Not this one. This is staying in for like a solid month. This like, look, that is so freaking cute. I love it. So, look what, look what was delivered to me we got some flowers y'all and look at the that almost made me cry look how pretty they are when they said houston looks good on me this is what they meant see it went from sad girl depressive hours to like a 180 out here so i think that's just confirmation that i need to move but well you know wait on the Holy Spirit. Our church's motto for the year is STOP. So STOP, it's an acronym. Learn your acronyms. VIP, learn your acronyms. <laughs> it stands for seek God, trust God, obey God, and praise God. So we gonna stop and let him stop and see the salvation of the Lord. That's what my dad says too. Before I go, cause my flight is tomorrow morning, I want to do um, some pictures. I bought a few different outfits. So we gonna make some shake. I also ordered food and I'm the food in Houston. I'm about to go back looking big because I'm I ordered a lot of food. Do I need it all? No. But it's Houston. And the food out here, Chef's Kiss, like we don't get that in bland, dry Colorado, you know? It's not mm -mm. food just came, y'all. This is one of the best like food trucks in Houston. It's so good. If you watched my house hunting vlog, you would have saw that I got it before and I have to come back. Y'all, it's so good. I know that <laughs> they know when I'm in town because I place orders back to back to back to back and then I take some and put it in my suitcase. Oh. Mm. Like, look at this. Minus the pickles. That looks fire. I know when I edit this, I'm gonna look back upset because it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit in the present. Mm. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. This is outfit number one. I might take the hat off. I don't know if I'm feeling it. But we have an ASAP Rocky hoodie. This cargo skirt is from Fashion Nova. And then we have on the pink Rick Owens. I like it, but I don't know. I don't want the hat. No hat it is. I really didn't plan out my outfits based on the Airbnb. I just picked outfits, so hopefully I can make them work. We are gonna be using my new light, which is cordless, so.
I am getting ready to go on a second date. Um, I don't, <laughs> I feel like I've shared so much of like my relationships, situationships on the internet that I kind of like keeping this one more low key. Not even, it's not even super low key because I'm telling you guys, but just keeping it to myself for a little bit, you know? Especially since <laughs> in men, we don't trust. So, you know, the only thing I believe in these days is God. I like where it's at and I kind of want to keep things where they're at because I don't know, I'm taking like a different approach to this one. What is on my face? Very much it is what it is energy and I'm not investing too much, I'm not doing too much because I get attached fast. I am a certified lover girl by definition. So we're not pumping the brakes this time, just a little bit. I am filming this get ready on TikTok as well. So if I'm looking like here, this because the TikTok camera's right there, but yeah. Plus I kind of like watching you guys play detective and trying to figure out who I'm, who I'm dating. <laughs> it's really not hard because if you know me and you know my interests, someone already DM'd it to me and they got it right. I'm not gonna say who, but y'all are detectives on lock. We are doing the no foundation makeup just because I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. It's more humid here than it is in Colorado and I don't want to sweat it off. Like I'm not trying to do that. Oh my gosh, not me having crust in my eye. That's cute. If you don't like me when my eyes are crusty, you're not the man for me. Cause let me tell you, something is always slightly off. <laughs> I got a missing lashes. I got crust in my ear. It's always something. I have this light up mirror that I travel with and I broke it. Why it look like that? It looked like the Pixar lamp. This song is playing at my wedding. Is that a sign? That was cute, but I like trap music, so next. <laughs> I was in my office at home editing a YouTube video, and my cousin comes in and he's like, You just listen to this casually at 2 a.m.? Like, yeah, you don't? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. I think I'm just biased to Key Glock, but trap music. It, like, if he used to be a drug dealer and now he makes music, add it to the playlist, you know? I cannot tell if this looks good or not, but it's gonna be okay, because it'll be dark, hopefully. I haven't getting on my case about wearing blush. I'm not a blush girl. I don't know. I don't know. Don't come for me, but I just, it wasn't me. This is the NARS blush in Scandalous. A scandal. Ooh, that's way too much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe I'm tripping. Let's blend it out. Maybe I'm just tripping. It got me tripping. Oh, stomach. Oh. Okay. It's not bad. It's actually kind of cute. A little bit, a little goes a long way. I don't need all that blush on me. Pull up on me. I like it. It's different for me, but I'm not mad at it, especially when I smile. Let me tell you something. You learn how to wink, you are a force to be reckoned with like dangerous woman. Something about you. Now for the lip. Do we want to do like actual lipstick today? Do we want to do a gloss? Is date number two, you might get lucky, is ah, the dress. I am so bloated. Like this is not, I'm having one of those moments. Tina, the talking tummy, but it's okay. <laughs> Her shoes, ooh, ah, they're from Steve Madden. I got them when I was in Houston last time. I forgot my boob tape too. So these things are sagging, like, he goes get the real grandma experience. But, you know, you, you, what you see is what you get. This is what you're signing up for. <laughs> well, I am five minutes early too. He says his clock is 5.55. All right, well, I'm out. 
I will literally have to come back and pack and then we're leaving tomorrow morning. And maybe I'm just like happy, but I feel like I'm in a movie right now. You know, like I don't feel like I'm Talitha. I feel like I'm watching, I don't know, I feel like I'm, it, it feels weird. Like, I don't know, it, I don't know, but I'm gonna go. It's 11.33, I just made it back. To say today drained me would be an understatement. So, date updates. Do I even wanna give one? Um, it is cool. <laughs> it is, it is what it is. You know, high hopes, low expectations. It's just the vibe. This ring is stuck on my finger. Jesus, come off. It was cool. Um, that's all I have to say. My flight leaves at 10 a.m. tomorrow to go back to Denver and then I'll be in Denver literally just tomorrow and then Friday Tabitha and I are going to Utah for my first brand trip which is crazy. It's Utah, it's literally one state over and it's, it's a snow ski lodge resort trip which I've never done anything like that. Well, I went to Aspen but I, I don't know, I feel like that wasn't like the full experience. I'm tired, but we have a busy day tomorrow. Gotta catch a flight. Catching flights and feelings. No, maybe. We'll see. The following day. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.33. I'm about to head to the airport. I think my Uber just pulled up, actually. So I shall go. Oh, I need to pour the water out these flowers. I'm taking these home. I'm not throwing these away. Look what I look like. <laughs> Five hours later. You guys, this is gonna be a thick, that's that thick, <laughs> update. So I'm home, clearly. Um, I went to the gym, worked out, and it was one of the best workouts I've ever had because, y'all. <laughs> so my YouTube channel um, got hacked and deleted. And see, I'm still vlogging. I'm not pressed about it. It's just really inconvenient. So pretty much... I'm coming home, Tobias calls me, cause Tobias, he's, um, he helps me edit sometimes and he has access to my channel. He's like, yo, your channel got hacked. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, no, like someone hacked your channel. So even some of you like messaged me on Instagram and Twitter and were like, hey, we think something's up with your channel. And you were right. And I appreciate you guys for the concern. I, I didn't know y'all really, y'all caught it right when it happened too. Like, okay. Okay. It was weird because they didn't change my password. They didn't lock me out. They just started posting stuff and they had a link which was hacking other people's channels as well. And because they had that link that violated YouTube's guidelines or whatever, they deleted my whole channel. It's just inconvenient and it's so... Ugh, I feel like I've been really having a rough patch <laughs> with social media and I'm really trying to like... Ugh, I'm gonna start crying. I'm trying so hard to stay positive. Like I am trying so hard and it's really taking a lot out of me because it's like first I get scammed by management and then I feel ostracized because it seems like everyone's here and I'm down here. And then y'all know I've been struggling with TikTok. I don't know what's going on with my TikTok page. And now my YouTube channel gets deleted, so. I'm like, I don't, I'm trying to see the glass as half full because it could be worse. You know, I could have to start over completely. I don't think I'll ever have to do that, but um, it's just frustrating and it's irritating that, oh my gosh, <laughs> you work so hard on something and someone can be greedy and just take it away from you for their own selfish benefit. You know, like, you didn't even gain anything from hacking. YouTube is my job, okay? So if I don't have access to this channel anymore, I, it's not that I can't make money, but I literally have to start over. And a lot of people know, <laughs> it's not easy to grow on social media. And I know that I have your support and I'll, you know, grow my um, channel back, but it's like, I, didn't have to do that, you know, because someone wanted to be selfish. No sympathy for hackers because it's like, why? Why would you do that? It's so selfish and 
just terrible but I am taking as an opportunity to really just have faith in God and knowing that he is going to work it out I don't know why I couldn't tell you why but it's not for me to understand because he has already figured it out you know and I just have to wait for him to reveal that to me and just be patient if what God has for you no one can take away and I'm trying to like remind myself that like if he did it before he can do it again and you know social media is not the end of the world but um yeah I don't I don't I don't know but I am gonna keep vlogging because tomorrow I'm in the morning I am leaving for my first brand trip as ironic as that is I don't have a place to post content to <laughs> but um yeah it's a ski mountain lodge resort I think I've talked about it um with classy network there's um me and the plus one so Tabitha's coming with me and hopefully I knew that it happened at a good time because had I got hacked and didn't have anywhere to go, I'd be obsessing over it. And yeah, literally obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, <laughs> that's me. I wouldn't, I'd literally think myself into a hole. Either that or I would literally spend six hours at the gym. You know, one of two ways here. I need a pack. Yeah, well, my stuff is kind of like packed already. I figured it out before I went to Houston because I knew... I wouldn't want to do it when I came home. I know myself. <sighs> so I just need to take the stuff out of my other suitcase, put it in the laundry, and then put that in my suitcase. So, yeah. And then tomorrow, I'm getting my lashes done in the morning. Probably not going to vlog until tomorrow, just because I want to set my intentions and not really focus on YouTube just for a minute. Um, this vlog is going to be hella long already. And I was so excited to post this video, bro. It's still going up. I just don't know when and I just don't know where. We'll figure it out as we go. Hmm. Your word for today is when you pray for something, God's going to give it to you. You pray to have faith in God and he's going to remove things so he can test it. Because faith without works is dead. So there's your word for today. Um, be careful what you pray for. I always wondered, like, why don't I have any friends? Because I asked God to remove people from my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. I always wonder, why am I single? Because God knows that you deserve more than you're getting, and he's removing these bum AF dudes so that you can save yourself for who matters, you know? So, that's your word for today. Be careful what you pray for, because he's going to give it to you. He's not going to give it to you. He's going to give you the opportunity to practice that. So, yeah yeah it's real out here guys but um i'll see you tomorrow I'm trying to stay positive oh i just don't want to cry during this trip mm, it's okay <laughs> good morning everyone so it's six six fifty seven you know it's early because i didn't even take the retainer out that's how you know i'm tired because when i leave this thing in i'm like screw it that means i'm not done sleeping yet but I just pulled up to my um, Lash Tech's house, apartment. I'm about to go in. Let me tell her I'm here. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. I literally slept for an hour. So I'm like on thin ice today, but it's okay. <laughs> I guess it would help to take the glasses off. Um, here's my lashes. My eyes are so puffy. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. But it is, I think, 8.45. We're leaving around 10. 10, 15-ish. So I'm going to take a nap. I'm so freaking tired. Y'all like it. It is paining me to be awake right now. Later. The snow oh, too with it. Like, it's beautiful. There's snowflakes on my lens. Okay. The entrance to the spa is just at the bottom of those stairs on the left. Oh. 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 Hey sisters, so <laughs> we just got to the Blue Sky Lodge in Utah and okay, see I was talking stuff because I'm like, it's a snow resort in Utah. No, no, I was respectfully put in my place. Like look, we're gonna give the room tour again for the YouTube, even though I don't have a YouTube channel right now. I'm gonna still vlog. Gosh darn it. <laughs> you come in already, you have these gourmet walking sticks. Like you got dark skin, this Talitha and this Tabitha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, also, this one's shorter. This shorter. 
And then you come in. I would like to note that the Classy Network, they left some beanies. It's so thoughtful. And they gave me a little ring light too because they know they invited a bunch of TikTokers and you can't leave us hanging. And then here's what the room is looking like. It's real cute. I like how it's separated because I love Tabitha, but we shared so many rooms together, so many beds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm, a, I'm glad we yeah. got separate beds. And then I bet if it's a couple, you could probably take this out. And mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and then put it to get yeah. Uh huh. Sorry to the man who's over six foot, cause this. You know what? Answer. And then, y'all, they put the classy network on the mirror. They did that on purpose, cause they know we're gonna take selfies. Cute. You have a toilet, and then the bathroom. You guys know I love a bathroom. Look, you have Tabitha's sink. My sink. It's so nice. Can I say something? Of course. The lotion smells so good. <laughs> like hotel lotion could never. Could never. Okay. First of all, you see this bottle? This ain't no like squeeze type. Two eight ounces. Ounce, two ounce. I put this in my carry out. No, this is for the checked baddies. Mm -hmm. You see this? And it got. Look at this. Aloe. Wait. You see aloe? This is what this is y'all need to okay y'all better come up here and get you one of these y'all better come here and get you one of these she taking all the look you see you see all the bottles there's not gonna be any left when we leave i promise you what i tell you what i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a call from the manager and she gonna be like talitha all the lotion's gone oh they got shampoo they got and then there's a private outdoor shower too and we have robes and what are those things slippers and i bought my own so yeah, i come prepared <laughs> look at this this is everything everything i could be out here naked and i won't get clocked for it <laughs> Ew, it looks like cake don't worry, okay. you don't like it I call them back bro <laughs> why is it pink it's a pretty patty <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like an impossible one. Yeah, we already room service. And <laughs> bro. Oh. <laughs> the lighting in here is terrible. Oh my goodness. We're going to the welcome dinner like an hour late, but I feel like everyone's late because they were running late. So it's okay, kinda. I hope. This is the outfit. I don't really like my outfit, I'm not even gonna lie. Because it was really last minute. And we have to wear um well I as a creator have to wear stuff that they provide. So this is what we made work. It's cute, but it's not like my bestest, but it's egg. Good morning everybody. So today is Saturday. It is currently 9.02 a.m. and we are going to breakfast. I'm gonna take these off just for now. We were supposed to have breakfast in a yurt and I had to Google what a yurt was before coming here and it looked really cute but unfortunately it kept snowing so it don't look like it snowed. It looks pretty clear out to me. It looked worse yesterday than it does now to be honest with you but I'll make the rules. We're just going to breakfast in the main lobby. Let me show y'all the outfit. We have this puffer vest, which is either from Ross or Fashion Nova, I can't remember. And then the sweatpants or the jogger set. We have the Louis, the Louis fanny pack, and then the Yeezy boots. I hope they have mimosas. I just like to with them if they serve alcohol in the morning. This is becoming an issue. Well, it's not, it's not a problem yet. Let me, y'all are all up in my face. It's not a problem, it can be a problem, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. And even if I was, it's okay. Because everyone, you know, live your life. I'm not gonna judge. Shoot, whatever gets you through the day, do what you gotta do. Just don't hurt yourself or anyone else. We are back from breakfast. Um, I didn't really vlog too much just cause, did I even vlog at breakfast? I think I just forgot to be honest with you. But we are going snowmobiling and that is in about hour and a half. I just took some pictures in this outfit. And I really like is giving mint chocolate chip. And now I'm gonna film a video, a, a really sad video that I don't wanna film, but it's basically about 
my YouTube getting hacked and we're starting over. And then I have to film a Q&A video for this sponsored thing. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take a nap and then I'll show you guys the snowmobiling outfit. We ordered some food and it looks real good. We are going snow, snow mobiling. Snow. <laughs> Tabitha was reading the itinerary and she asked me, what is snow mobiling? <laughs> we're going snow mobiling. Here's the outfit. I had to like rush it because we're late. I think we're the last people. Yeah. But we look good though. Tabitha's outfit had me literally cracking up in tears earlier. Y'all, <laughs> this is no fashion. This is all function. High fashion. Let go, y'all. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, you look warm. I wish. You look warm. Okay, we have the moon boots. <laughs> I'm going to vlog on my phone because I'm not bringing a $2,000 camera to go. I need a GoPro. That's the next investment. Let me get a GoPro. You owe your vlogging. I can hold it. Thank you. We have to wear helmets. <laughs> and I tried to find a green one to match the aesthetic but you know, gotta be safe or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put these in my. You can't wear them? I, it's like, you know. You can't see? Well, I'm driving the boat then. This is the first and last time okay. I will be doing this. <laughs> first no. and last time. We are back from snowmobiling. Tabitha and I agree, it's something, that was our first and last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a cute idea, but first of all, we were supposed to do a three hour ride. I think they cut it down because it started getting dark. And then me and Tabitha fell. <laughs> insert the video. Clip. Right, insert clip here. Then my head hit the wall. So at first we were gonna ride together. And then they were like, well, if you're a beginner, we recommend going alone, cause it's easier. So I was going alone and I'm last, cause I'm slow, y'all, I'm scared. Like, it's very dangerous. They had beginners riding up a mountain. Like, this could end bad in so many ways. And it was really dark too. Yeah, and it got dark fast. And it started snowing too. Yeah. It was like really foggy, you couldn't even see the mountains. Like our view, you couldn't even you see You couldn't anything. see anything. Yeah. There was like a part where we took a break and you could kind of just ride around like this open area. So I was like, yeah, top of the, get on. And we're going, we're going. And then we're turning, oh we went. And we're turning, you're supposed to turn against it. And I didn't do that. And we, bloop, fell over. It's a vibe, I can check it off the list, but I will not be doing it again. Later. Right? We are in the hot tub. You wanna be in my vlog? Yeah. That may or may not go up. <laughs> this is giving OnlyFans. <laughs> right? <laughs> OnlyFans girls. Come on in. Oh wow, this one is really nice. Hello, hello. <laughs> what do we say? I'm like, right, we like, I'm like, no, what? <laughs> We're here. Just look in the camera like that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> you like they're I'm about to cut this part out of the vlog before I get canceled. <laughs> okay. No, there's so many things I say when I'm like, yeah. oh, right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> put that online. So oh. we're gonna do what's it, Kyo? Kyo therapy? We're gonna call it chirotherapy. Chirotherapy. We're gonna jump in the snow and then roll in the snow. Ro roll in the snow. <laughs> roll in the snow yeah. and then come back in the hot tub. She's trying to give me pneumonia. One, two. No! We are on our way to go. Wait, okay, so today's Sunday. <laughs> I usually I post on Sundays. <laughs> no, we're all late. <laughs> I usually post on Sundays, but because my channel got deleted, there's no video today. But there will be one next Sunday, whether it's my I get my channel back or I have to make a new one. But here's the outfit. We're doing the pink moon boots today. 
But yeah, we're going tubing today. Don't die. <laughs> not to, we are not insured. We signed a waiver for a reason. We're going up the, the escalator. <laughs> I almost fell getting on. I don't want to see so. the in the mall. Right. Are you, are you this okay? Is a, are you okay, Tabitha? <laughs> Tabitha. <laughs> Got it. Per. See, we did that. Good morning vlog. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're trying to. We're going home today. I think that's our car right there. Hello, everyone. Today's Thursday. We came back on Monday. You can probably hear it in my voice. I definitely caught some type of cold or something because y'all being in the cold for three days straight, it... It's playing with your girl. And then coming back to Colorado and it's in the negatives. Y'all, I hate it here. I hate it here. I know it's cold in Texas too right now, but it's not as cold as this. I'm ready to move. To give you guys an update on where I'm at with my channel. So clearly, I made a new channel. Um, majority of this video was filmed before I was hacked. So that's why everything's happy-go-lucky until like <laughs> the second half of the video. To be completely transparent with you guys, YouTube was one of my streams of income. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. I was making between four and eight thousand dollars a month. And I I have to start over. And I really I don't want that to delay the moving process, but it might because that money was, you know, like I was budgeting and not having that anymore definitely sets me back. But nothing's a setback. It's always a set up. I feel like everything happens for a reason and I've said it multiple times in the past couple days. It might not make sense to me now, it might not make sense to me later, but everything, you know, plays out the way it's supposed to. I uploaded a few videos that I still had access to. If you want a specific video up and you remember what it was, please comment down below because I might have it. I don't have all of them, which is so unfortunate, but if you're a YouTuber, buy an external hard drive and save all your videos because stuff like this happens. We're here trying to remind myself that things happen for you and not to you. Because when things happen to you, you're kind of like, well, that is what it is. But realizing that things happen for you, it's like, okay, well, how can I play this in my favor? You know? Our first shout is going to Lam Lay. She was the first person to comment on the new channel. So I was like, yeah, girl, you getting a shout out for that. Because, you know, I love, y'all are on it. Y'all are on it. Some of y'all found the new channel before I even announced it. So I love y'all. Oh, you look so pretty. I wish I looked this good when I was 16. Y'all was out here looking crusty. Thank you so much for supporting. You are beautiful. You're 15 and you look like this. Girl, teach me because 15, how, eight years ago. Oh my gosh. I did not look this good. I was just fighting demons. Shout out is going to Brittany. Girl, y'all look good. I swear, nothing but beautiful black women follow me. And honestly, beautiful women, period. I'm not gonna exclude other people. Hey, look at the... Girl, the legs are legging. Okay, I'm trying to get like you. And our third and final shout out is going to... Oh, I'm gonna mess this up. Emni... Emnia. Simone. Sorry. I know I said that wrong, probably. <laughs> but thank you so much for commenting the green heart emoji. Are you an AKA? Per. Oh, okay. First session back from maternity leave. You're a mother? Bitch, I'm a mother. You look good. I want to be a hot mom like you. Oh, that's a cute outfit. That's actually really cute. Well, thank you guys so much for your support and bearing with me through this interesting, interesting time in my career. I'm watching my dog outside. He's peeing. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Honestly, your presence means everything to me. We are still continuing Sunday uploads. Nothing is changing. And as per usual, if you want a shout out from me, comment the green heart emoji on my Instagram posts. But other than that, I love you guys and I will see you Sunday with a new one. Peace out.